special features on the Vista One. First, I'm going to go over swap faders. This allows you really to swap, you know, auxes to faders or faders to auxes. The way I can do that is I have a swap fader right here. Okay, so when I select it, whatever's in row one is going to come down here. Whatever's in row two is going to come down to these faders. So I can see right now on row one, I have auxiliary one, auxiliary two, three, and four. And I know that because I selected auxiliary one through four right here. So if I want to bring these auxes to the fader, I just select swap fader, and now the auxes are down here, and now I'm mixing the auxes on the faders. What's pretty slick is let's say I needed to get to those faders really quickly. Well, instead of hitting the swap fader, they actually came up here on the knob, so I could make adjustments. And you can see here, it tells you where the fader is, the level of the fader. And of course, I can just select it again, and then I have my faders here and my aux is up here. Another neat feature within this is I can copy these fader levels into my auxes. Great example of this is if you're doing, uh, let's say, monitors. And um, here you've done your, you know, let's say your, your kick drum and you got your drums all set up, that's a, per that's a great starting point, and now you want to feed their wedge or their in-ear. So what you would do is I, you'd hold down the link key and select the other link key, so now you got all ten of these faders, okay, in a link. And then I'm going to hit the copy function here of fader, and then I can take these levels and I can copy them into the aux that is being used for the drum wedge or the drum in-ears. Let's say that's aux four. And then so I have the copy here, I hit row four, and then right there, automatically, their in-ears or their wedges now have the exact same levels that were on your faders. So a really fast, simple way to be able to get headphone mixes or monitor mixes up and going.